despite our snapped stud disaster, um, I'm going to continue and take the valves out. Um, I am uh, going to clean the head up and then I've organised for an engineering company locally to set it up on a flatbed of their um, drill press and um, drill that stud out and possibly heli coil it. Um, I, it's something I do do on, on other projects is drill and re-tap or heli coil but this stud is so close to the water jacket on the other side on the far side that um, I'd rather spend a bit of money and get it done properly um, rather than mess it up and then have to source a new head and all the associated problems that might cause. So yeah, so tonight's job is valve removal. Um, I'm starting here with number one. I've already set up the first one, uh, ready to compress. I've got to be particularly careful because where the um, valve buckets sit, they're hydraulic, um, what do you call them? Hydraulic lifters, hydraulic, I don't know, tappets, hydraulic tappets, that's what they're called. Um, and if I scratch up the inner surface, then it could, um, could affect the way they operate. So I've got to be very careful, just take my time, set one up square and then I can get on and compress the valve. I'll film one of them but I'm not going to film all of them because that would just be monumentally boring. My videos are less than exciting at the best of times. So yeah, I'll do one and then I'll do the rest at my leisure. she goes. Pop. Don't check I'm not interfering with anything but I'm not. Is there enough room to get those out? There's two. Right, let's see what's inside this thing. First out. And then inside that we've got two springs, double spring. One inside the other. And after that, Usually there's a thrust washer or something to help with wear and tear at the bottom of, well certainly on the motorbikes, there's a washer that usually lurks down here. I'm just going to see what's, oh yeah there's definitely something down here. Question is, okay I can't get that out until the valve stem oil seal comes out. Right, so this is the exhaust valve. Hopefully we can just pull that out. One, one exhaust valve. Not too bad. Not too bad, I think. That will lap in nicely. I don't know whether it's better with light or without light. Bit of light. So in the bottom here, there is... I don't know if you, you can't see anything because my hand's in the way. But there is a um, thrust plate, I don't know what they're called, I'm sure they've got a name, which takes the spring and stops it wearing into the aluminium, I'm assuming. But it's locked in place by the valve guide oil seal, which is the rubber dongle here. Um, so I have to get that out before I can get the, um, the spring seat out. And obviously I don't want to scratch anything up, so I've got to just think. Sometimes they can be a bit of a struggle to get off, or well, certainly on the motorbikes I've, dis I've discovered they can be a bit difficult. So maybe a long needle nose pliers might do it. Just don't want to wreck anything.
Okay, some gentle wobbling backwards and forwards with these needle nose pliers worked it free. Came away quite gently, so nothing too major. It's a little bit of sooting around the top of these, so perhaps there's a little bit of blow by, and there's some crap on the inside as well. So, good opportunity to change this. Is that the final piece of the puzzle? Let me just check for anything else. I think we're down to aluminium now. Yeah, we're down to aluminium. So I think that was the last piece to come out. Right, I'll do that seven, seven more times and uh, bring you back. Right, it's a few days later. Um, I took the cylinder head this morning to uh, a local engineering company who said they'd have a look at getting the stud out for me. They said it'd be about a week or so as they were quite busy but they actually phoned me this afternoon and said they'd managed to turn it around uh, in a gap between jobs. So we have one less uh, problem to overcome. Um, that cost me 25 quid but to be honest I think it's money well spent given the proximity of that hole to the water jacket below it and uh, the lack of stress uh, being able to hand it over to a professional who can centre it up on their flatbed and um, use the milling machine to take out the centre and then pick the thread out. They've also um, run a uh, tap down it to make sure the threads are clean and um, they seem to think there's uh, a, a good thread there still so very happy with that. Um, so uh, obviously I need to order um, probably a couple of new studs for this um, I'm going to go for, uh, I'm going to order some uh, brass nuts to go on it because they won't corrode onto these studs. Um, so that should leave me or the next person less of a problem should they have to remove them ever again. Uh, 